Hey guys, I'm Alex from the technoclass.com and this is the DTC GT3 Asteroid. This is an Android phone, 3.5 inch capacitive screen and the brand DTC is a new uh, mobile phone maker in the Philippines and they're making waves with making inexpensive devices. This Android phone is a 650 megahertz process, has a 650 megahertz processor, 5 megapixel camera with flash and it's priced at $4,999. Uh, let's go ahead and unbox it but right now I'm just going to announce that we are going to be raffling this phone off um, the link is going to be in the description below if you're a YouTube watcher or if you're visiting our website. Uh, you should check out the uh, link that says win an Android phone over there. But there you go. Let's unbox this thing. Alright guys, so as previously mentioned, the DTC GT3 Asteroid Android phone is a new Android phone from the, oh I put it in backwards, uh, Android phone from the uh, Filipino, Philippine maker, and right off the bat, uh, it looks like an HTC device, but uh, we'll get to that later, uh, it doesn't have a battery yet, so you get this uh, plastic uh, top, top thing, and uh, let's see here, let's get the battery first and boot it up. And then, um, okay, so here's the thing with this one. You slide it downwards instead of um, uh, the usual pop it open. Uh, as you can see, there's a SIM 1 and SIM 2. It doesn't have 3G, but it does It does support a micro SD card right there. Uh, I'm going to pop this in like so. Yep. Uh, the battery is a 1450 milliamp hour battery. And um, a bonus here is you get two. So value for your money right there. Um, so let's boot this up and get to the other parts of the box. Um, I'm just going to say I've heard this phone already and it is a very loud uh, speaker. <laughs> so inside here you have a headset, a uh, one piece headset with a button and a microphone. Um, inside is a uh, micro, yeah like I said it's pretty loud. Uh, micro USB to USB port for charging and data transfer. This is a uh, charger, USB charger. There you go, that's uh, out. Um, I'm pretty sure it's auto volt. I haven't checked. Um, yep, it's auto volt. I think all chargers are auto volt these days. Uh, this is a nice little, oh, looks like a warranty reg registration card. And I guess this is a free, is this a free? Uh, screen protector I can't really tell but uh, it's uh, it's a plastic thing that's shaped like the screen so it could be a screen protector probably a screen protector uh, there's a manual here that is pretty plenty thick you know um, it's black and white but it's got pictures and everything so you know, if you're if you're lost with an Android phone you can use these uh, and figure out your stuff but that's it for the box and uh, as you can see you've already seen the phone boot up um, let's see here. Let's get to the parts of the uh, phone first. Uh, this is a 3.5 inch um, half VGA screen. That's uh, 320 480. That's pretty good uh, resolution compared to something like the Galaxy Y, which is half that resolution, 320 240. Uh, on the left side, there's a volume rocker here. Um, that's it for the left. On top is a power and lock power and unlock button. See, I told you it was loud. Uh, a 3.5 millimeter headset jack, a lanyard port on the right, a charging port on the right as well, and a microphone on the bottom. Um, at the back here, there's your 5 megapixel camera with LED flash and the speaker grill. Very loud speakers. <laughs> DTC branding, an Android 2.3 logo there. So I guess you, it's gonna even even if it's it gets upgraded for some reason to Android 4.0, you'll still get an Android 2.3 sticker. Uh, it says here 5 megapixels app market DTCproducts.com, just so you remind you get reminded of what it looks, what it what branded is. So on in the front here, you can have a notification LED. I believe there's an orange version if you're charging. A DTC logo, uh, the v 0.3 megapixel VGA camera, I believe. Uh, Android capacitive buttons here, uh, home, uh, menu, back, and search. And you have a nice uh, lip here. Automatically, instantaneously, I can I can almost say it's uh, it looks a lot like an Android and the an HTC phone, as you can see. Um, the new HTC phones have a similar uh, capacitive buttons. And look at that uh, headphone, uh, the speaker grill right there, the button placement, um, 
sp uh, the volume button uh, let's see branding camera placement and stuff like that which is not necessarily a bad thing I wouldn't say it's a bad thing I mean they could do much worse than uh, than than an HCC looking device and as you can see here this looks a lot like HTC sense actually most of the icons are are from HTC sense this is the HTC sense uh, like this is an HTC Sense like a uh, weather uh, thing. But let's go ahead and darken the video so we can talk about the interface more. All right, so here we are. This is mostly uh, the what what the home screen looks like when you first boot it up. Um, there's a, there's a lot of HTC like widgets. <clears throat> Sorry if I keep saying that, but it does look like HTC widgets as uh, the calendar here, uh, the weather widget here. Uh, there are some differences, I think. Primarily, it, it, it's uh, it's I would say it's an HTC based ROM, uh, not necessarily a bad thing because we like HTC ROMs, uh, HTC Sense. Uh, even the the uh, unlocked uh, launcher is HTC like when you can do uh, unlock with directly to the camera. Even the camera looks like an HTC camera, as you can see here. That's HTC effects and stuff like that. Not a bad thing. Not a bad thing. Um, so this is a 650 megahertz processor, as you can see. Um, you can uh, the home screens are swiped left and right. There's a indicator of the home screen right there, which is, <laughs> I guess, HTC as well. Um, <clears throat> if it, the the app launcher is over here, uh, I guess it's not paginated like the HTC one, but uh, it's scrolling up and down as well, and um, it's rather smooth. And uh, like I said, you can you can do much worse than do an HTC based uh, ROM software, and it uh, it runs pretty well and. Uh, yeah, so side scrolling home screen uh, notification bar here with some shortcuts to your settings, and uh, yep, uh, application launcher with uh, you know, oops, sorry, not didn't mean to do that. Uh, uh, downloaded uh, tab, frequent tab, and all apps tab. Um, there's also a customization thing here, but uh, not necessarily HTC like anymore. But yeah, I'll stop talking about uh, it looking like an HTC uh, ROM because it's uh, it, on its own. It's actually a very good device. Um, it runs pretty smooth on the interface here. Uh, let's try and type something though. Uh, where can I type? All right, so here we are uh, on the text messaging thing, and I'll try and type something. And uh, you might want to cover your ears. I turned on the vol the the uh, the click uh, when you press a button. Sometimes the keyboard does disappear though. I think it's a double tap though. A quick brown fox. Oops, sorry. So it's uh, the, the volume is actually very very loud, um, which is a good thing. I mean you can watch YouTube and stuff like that. Um, yeah, so let's try and play a game here real quick. All right, here we are playing Angry Birds, and as you can see. Uh, the volume is still very, very loud. Um, this is Angry Bird Space. You can pinch the zoom. Uh, you can pinch in, and um, it works pretty well. Uh, not the fastest uh, phone for this. I mean, it's only got 650 megahertz, so can't really complain. Uh, but you can press home, and then you go go back. Sometimes uh, the widgets will have to reload, uh, especially since uh, doesn't have. I um, mean the that much uh memory but there you go it's uh it's, it's not bad but yeah that's it for the interface i mean you can play fruit ninja stuff like that it doesn't support temple run because you need uh, a gigahertz processor for that but you can play a lot of games already uh with 650 megahertz all right guys that's about it for the dtc gt3 asteroid android phone it's 4899 you might be able to get it cheaper uh in some places but uh yeah that's about it Dual SIM wi with Wi-Fi, uh, doesn't have 3G though, but um, it's actually pretty good. Decent screen, uh, very loud speakers, and 5 megapixel camera. Uh, we'll, put, uh, we'll put up uh, some sample pictures and video at the end, of the, of the end of this video. But more importantly, you should check out the raffle that we are going to do for this phone itself. Uh, so you should join us, and the link is going to be in the description below if you're on YouTube. And the link, uh, the information about the raffle is going to be on the Win an Android Phone uh, but, uh, link on top of our website if you're watching this on our website. But that's about it, guys. I'm Alex from thetechnoclass.com. This is the DTC GT3 Asteroid Android Phone. Thanks for watching. Alright guys, thanks for watching and as always, if you like the video, please press the like button below. 
add it to your favorites and or share it to your friends. If you got something to say, drop a comment in the comment box as well. Of course, more importantly, you should hit the subscribe button on top. This will keep you up to date with our new uploads and helps us out tremendously too. That's it guys, see you next video. Thank you.